hello everybody in this video i will discuss about how we can track iframe form submission when we don't have access of the iframe source site when we don't have iframe source site access it is quite impossible to track the form submission the form which is came with i iframe to add this the thing recently i have wrote few code and the code may be helpful for you so this is my repository in the video description i will share the code repository link if you scroll down you will find the details about how we should use this code at first i am opening the google tag manager there is only one tag g tag this is a new tag of g tag this is there is only a tag id this is actually the measurement id of my google analytics for and then actually we need to create a new tag where we uh, like to put our javascript code for handling the iphone submission just i am from the google tag manager i in the tag step i am going to uh, create new tag by clicking new and i am giving a name the name is totally up to you just it earlier for i frame one or anything which you like and then from the tag configuration we need custom html this one and from this field we need to put uh, the code in the repository you will find a file name script.js just uh, i am click on the script.js and from this file we need to copy all of the code and the easiest way to copy all the code you just need to click this copy raw file button and then finally we need to come here and paste all of the code before pasting the code you see this is a html code block so we have to wrap uh the code with a script tag so i am back to the previous state and writing script and then the closing script tag like this and then inside the script and closing script tag we need to paste the code this is the code and now we also need to add a trigger uh, trigger is all page view is perfectly fine for our case and then finally save it now if we go to the preview mode i am going to the preview mode this is my demo website for this tutorial in this website actually get offer this link contain a iframe form this is actually a hubspot form i have taken the form for demonstration purpose if i inspect here and show you this is really a iframe form this is this is the form body as well as if i scroll top of the form this is form you see this is a real iframe form uh, I, I you can take any kind of iframe form it doesn't matter whether it is a hub spot form or any other uh, platform form it's perfectly fine for iframe form again i am reloading the page and i am in this page get offer page and now look here if i click anywhere in the form for example i am clicking the email field uh, i am getting a data layer even the event name is iframe for mr that means when someone click or do a interaction with the iframe form the first event will be iframe for mr and after completing the form i am uh, filling the form test email at gmail.com first name md last name hassan and phone number this is a random phone number and now if i submit the form and go back to our data layer you see that we are getting i from i frame form submit event and we are getting the information which came with the form this is a form location this is 
iframe id as well as class and others uh, user input thing this is our actual gtm site and now we are going to share with you how we can send the information in our google analytics report to do that we need to go to a variable section variable section i like to create few variable for this form information and one of the variable is custom event custom actually data layer variable and then form location and then from here we can type data layer variable this is data layer variable uh, and we need to put the data layer variable name we can copy the form location actually i only like to get the form location and iframe id if you like or if you like you can take user input uh, it is easy you just need to take the information and create a custom variable i am not showing everything here i am just taking uh, only the form location for demonstration purpose i am just coming back and giving the name data layer variable form location this is actually the page where form is in uh, then finally save it this is a one variable the variable name is data layer variable form location and then finally we need to create two triggers you see that uh, there is a two event one event is iframe form start and another event is iframe form submit if we need to track both event then we need to create two custom trigger i am just copying the event name this is required to create custom trigger and then i am going to the trigger step from the trigger step we need to create a new trigger click the new and from the new i am writing custom event cv means and then this is our iframe form start event and then from here we are we should choose the custom event custom event and the event name should be exactly matched with the event name which we are getting here this is the iframe form start and then we also need another custom event sorry another custom trigger so we are creating new trigger custom event actually this is the iframe form submit event this is this one and sorry this is the event name and then finally we need to take custom event and this is the right name for this event and saving actually i have a little this is the iframe actually see custom event i just i am renaming it to match it custom event actually custom event this is it doesn't matter so this is the iframe for me start custom trigger and uh, custom event trigger iframe form submit and then finally we need to create our real tags so i am going to tags and then we need to create two tag uh, and name is totally up to you i am creating new maybe it could be lead form start this is the event name and the configuration we are taking our configuration information here actually we need to use the google analytics and the ga4 event of course and we need to put the measurement id i have already created a uh, constant for measurement id this is the measurement id and just cut it and paste it again it will check and give you information if it is perfectly fine setup and then finally we need to put some event parameter in our case we can take add parameter the parameter is form location and then we have already created the variable for this this is the form location and finally we need to add a trigger the trigger we have already created for form start this is the form start and save it and 
even um, sorry we also need to give an event name late on start and save it and then we need to create a, another event for form submit this is for the late form start and we are taking another tag lead form submit and then finally configuration we need to take google analytics google analytics ga4 event and the from that we need to take the measurement id this is the measurement id and i am just copying it and pasting it again so that google can refresh this and verify this is the correct uh, measurement id for my container and then finally we need to give the event name event name should be lead form submit and then finally our event parameter i am taking the event parameter form location and we have a custom variable for this this is the variable form location and the event parameter totally up to you which information you need to collect you can get more custom event from the data layer uh, information and then finally we need to trigger our trigger for this event is iframe form submit and then save it so we are totally done with everything now it is time to test our tag again i am going to the preview mode and then connect and we are going to get offer page in the page this is the form and if you look here and no if no tag has fired if i click the email field and you see the here and the late form star tag has fired and now i am filling the form test gmail.gmail.com this is actually nothing invalid just test test new like this and name first name second name or last name and then finally phone number a random thing and now if we click the submit button and come back to our google tag manager you see that the data layer event iframe form submit has fired as well as lead form submit uh, tag has fired so everything is perfectly working now if we go to our google analytics from the admin section i am going to debug view to make sure that everything is working perfectly this is the debug view and you see that lead from submit event is perfectly coming here and if we scroll down and see the form location this is the form location actually this is the location of the page for form as well as we are getting the lead form start and lead form submit event so hope this video will help you and save you when you have no other way to tracking iframe form but if you have iframe side login information source site information as well as the host site information then you can use the uh, message push message technique for tracking this but my video is very useful for you when you don't have access for iframe site maybe you have a website and there is a iframe form but your client does not give you the login information about the iframe source site so if it is the case and for this case my video is perfectly fine and hope this video will help you to tracking iframe form submission for this situation so this is everything and my name is hassan if you like my video please hit the like button as well as you can 
subscribe my channel for getting new video like this and i you can comment below my video for anything suggestion and if you need to any kind of help technical help with google analytics google tag manager i am mainly web developer and right now i am solving many problems which is uh, seems to be impossible like this so if you have any situation or any kind of issue then of course share with me i will uh, write code and give the video to solve the issue to solve the problem so thank you everybody for your time to watching the video have a good day